Hello and welcome back to the BSR Sports YouTube channel where you're joining me for a very special Derby Day edition 2 because last week, if you haven't already seen it, I was in Edinburgh. Today it is the Ayrshire Derby, Kilmarnock versus Ayr. If you don't know what to expect, here it is. <laughs> I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase Told you how to run the race, every move was on the page But I didn't like their way, had to fight and misbehave Had to find a way to change, had to leave to find my way Caught up in a daydream, I be in my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place, see Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But Success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself So coming into tonight's game, um, let's just give you a quick preview about the teams before we get to the stadium. So both teams obviously are Ayrshire rivals, both teams at different sides of the table. Kilmarnock currently occupies second position, uh, four points behind our Broth, who defeated them 1-0 one, one on Friday night. So it's a must win tonight for Kilmarnock if they want to get back um, close to the top of the table. Visitors Air actually occupy second bottom place and are four points from the bottom so it's a totally different dog fight for them tonight Air United fans this is the first trip they will have to Rugby Park uh, obviously their rivals stadium for the first time and since 2014 so it's massive and look what's right next to me as I'm walking down the road Both managers, it's their first derby tonight, so let's get to the stadium and see what the fans are saying.
What is happening ladies and gentlemen, it is currently the next day after the Ayrshire Derby last night uh, So you know what the drill is, we've got five sections to talk about, let's get straight into it So the first section we're going to talk about is the football uh, Last night it was a very interesting game, I didn't know what to expect I'd been to, this is my second Ayrshire Derby, I worked at an Ayrshire Derby earlier in the season But with both sets of fans as we know, away fans make a massive difference. We obviously found that out in the old firm last week. Um, and yeah, it, the, the, the football was straight from the off. Uh, it was high tempo. You could see the passion was there. Tackles were flying in. Just what you expect in a derby game. Tackles were flying in. Uh, there was a goal in the seventh minute because Kelly just ran out uh, and went all for it. I think Kelly maybe tired herself out. Um, kind of lost a bit of their game plan and I think the game got to their heads in the end but talking about football I would probably give it a 7.5 out of 10 um, because as I said the game kind of the game plan kind of got to Kelly's heads and it got ran away from them a bit and then Air kind of took control in the second half and you've seen the frustration in the Kelly fans um, and then obviously Air ran out winners so yeah it was a massive upset but yeah I would give it a 7.5 out of 10 Right, so in terms of price, we are going to talk about uh, the ticket first of all. Obviously, I'm a student, so I got a student ticket. £15 for the ticket. Uh, yeah, that's pretty decent pricing, to be honest with you. Uh, definitely, for a derby game especially. Sometimes the bigger games, the prices can creep up. They maybe uh, add something in there, but £15, yeah, definitely. And then £4.20 for a uh, Kelly Pie and a uh, Twix. I was craving a wee bit of chocolate, so I had to get a Twix, but £4.20 for a pie and a bit of chocolate, if you think about it, you can go to the shop and you can buy four pies and a bit of chocolate for £2. So, obviously it's steep, but when you think about it, you're at the football and you're paying for the Kelly pie. Obviously the Kelly pie is famous, it's, it's known all over the UK eh, for being one of the best pies at the football, so yeah, in terms of price, for the ticket and the pie coming to under £20, um, I'll give that an 8.5 out of 10. So the third topic we'll talk about is atmosphere. Uh, it was a derby. I think everybody knew it was going to be a, a, a great atmosphere, to be honest with you. First time Air fans had been at Rugby Park since 2014. Uh, there was a massive build-up to the game throughout the week. Obviously, it's a midweek game as well, so it's at night time. People have alcohol in their systems. Yeah. I thought atmosphere, it was right up there. Um, straight, as soon as I get in the stadium, you can even hear it in the video if you go back. Get in the stadium, you can you can just you can hear the drums from outside, to be honest with you. And it was just a great vibe getting into the stadium. Got in there, uh, pyro, drums, singing all game long from both sets of fans as well. It wasn't even just their fans. It was a massive turnout. Um, Hats off to their fans because they brought a great crowd and they gave an opposition to the Commandant fans which lifted the atmosphere again. Uh, unfortunately the players didn't match the energy from the stands and especially in the second half for Commandant so that kind of dulled the moment, um, turned into frustration. The energy that was good in the first half turned into frustration. So that was quite disappointing but in terms of the fans on the pitch we need to give that a 9 out of 10 because it was definitely... A great turnout for the Commandant fans. I'm just disappointed. Um, well, maybe I'm not disappointed because I'm a Thistle fan about the result, but we'll keep that quiet. Uh, but yeah, I would be disappointed that the players didn't turn up for them after such a great performance on in the stands. Right, on to food. So, as I just spoke about, we had the... I'm like my lips at it already, thinking about it. The famous Kelly Pie. Uh, say hi to a Kelly Pie. Um, yeah. The Kelly pie, you just can't beat it in Scottish football at the moment from anywhere I've been. I'm not a big steak pie fan, I prefer a Scottish pie, as you will see from the videos, the games I go to, but the Kelly pie was unreal, unreal. Uh, it's the first time I've ever tried it and it's it's because it's got a butter uh, pastry, you can taste the butter through the pastry, there's something totally different about it. The steak and the gravy, the gravy, oh my goodness, it's to die for. So if I could survive on, survive on Kelly pies, I would, but... Unfortunately, that's not healthy, so I won't be able to. 
For the Kelly Pie, I believe they touch it a bit because everybody knows what a Twix tastes like. I will give that a 9.5 out of 10. Lastly, we'll move on to facilities. So, Rugby Park, as we all know, is uh, just under 20,000, the stadium. Um, so, you're turning up, it's a derby day, you're, you're seeing if it can be filled as much as possible. I would say there's probably 75% capacity there last night, which was good. Uh, first of all, safe standing. It's a topic that I absolutely love talking about. Safe standing, as we've seen last night, made a massive atmosphere to the game. Um, I think it's just it's brilliant to see at stadiums because, let's be honest, the singing sections, you never see a singing section sitting down, do you? The safe standing just brings something else. It brings a section where you know you're in and you know there's going to be an atmosphere. So, yeah, I would love to see it at a lot more clubs. It's starting to get implemented now around the country, which is good. Uh, outside the stadium, there's a new like, memorial garden thing that I think that was good. The club shop, club shop was excellent. Uh, club shop was up to date, nice and clean and perfect. Uh, I had a nice um, one-way system round of it. So yeah, facilities, the stadium, massive stadium. I didn't, I didn't see any problems. I love the fact that it's got uh, the stairs that go up from the outside of it and go in. What I didn't like was the fact that everybody goes out the one way at the end of the game. Uh, down the one street and it was crammed I think that could probably be fixed and you can only come in the one way as well to get to to get to the stadium so that's probably a problem but I don't know how they fix that to be honest with you I think it's just to separate from the away fans so for facilities I am going to give an 8 out of 10 well ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that is the end of this video unfortunately uh, thank you very much for paying attention all the way to this point. It shows that you did enjoy the video, I hope. Um, but I won't be able to go any longer. So listen, if you enjoyed the video and you want to help me out, the best thing you can do is click the like button, comment something down below, even rate my, rate my meal deal, in fact. That's what I'll get you to do, rate my meal deal. And tell me where you want me to go next. I am going to leave you. Click that subscribe button. And until next time, it's a goodbye from me.